Hello dear all, I am Santosh Wa and welcome to channel Learn English by Sandhya Wa. In the series of these videos, we will see solutions for its standard scholarship examination question paper 2022 mathematics section. So let's start our video and see questions from 46 to 50 of set A. See the question number 46. If the side of an equilateral triangle is 18 cm, then what is its area? Here, equilateral triangle means all sides are equal. See the rough sketch of this equilateral triangle. All sides are equal, and it is given 18 cm side. All sides are of 18 cm. So, what is our area of this triangle? But for the area of triangle, formula is 1 by 2 into b into h, where b is the base. Base is given, and h is the height. Here height is not given. We have to calculate that height is like this. Perpendicular distance. From what takes to base. This is the height. Let it be x. Now, see this perpendicular distance bisects this length. So this up to this length must be nine centimeter. This is nine. This is nine. So we got a triangle, which is right angle triangle, isn't it? So it becomes very easy to calculate this x. This is x. This is eighteen centimeter, and this is nine centimeter. With the help of this Pythagoras theorem, we can calculate the value of x, which is x equal to square root of square of this 18 square minus square of this 9 square. So it it is equal to 18 square is 360, 324, and 9 square is 81. Subtraction of both is in the square root of this 3, then this 4 and 2, 243. square root of 243 it is not a perfect square but you can observe 243 is nothing but 3 into 81 where 81 is perfect square and this is this is required because see in the option square root of 3 is given so it becomes a hint for us we can divide this 243 to get a 81 into 3 see this in the option they itself a hint is given so 3 into 81 is 243 where is 81 is perfect square so this will be the 9 into square root of 3 isn't it so we got value of x this x is 9 into square root of 3 so we can calculate now area of this triangle area of triangle is equal to 1 upon 2 base is 18 cm isn't it and height we got 9 square root of 3 Just solve this. It, I do this. It will. It, it becomes nine into nine. That is eighty one, and in the square root three. So area of triangle we got eighty one square root of three. Now see here in the options only. Square root of three is given, so we can convert this two forty three into three into eighty one. So our option is option number four. That is perfect option. See the question number forty seven. The rate of tickets of bus increased by 20%. After 6 months, the rate of ticket again increased by 10%. Then, what is the percentage increase in the original rate of tickets? So, for our convenience, let's assume the original rate. Let's assume the original rate as original rate of ticket as 100. For our is equal to 100 rupees. It is for our convenience, isn't it? Why hundred become because it becomes easy to get the percentage value. So in the first statement, it is increased by twenty percent. So increase in so increase in ticket is twenty percent means on hundred rupees twenty is in increase and our original ticket we have considered as hundred. So increase in ticket is rupees twenty. So final ticket after increase new final ticket. After increase, is it will be rupees hundred plus rupees twenty, that is one twenty. Sorry, one twenty rupees one twenty. So we got the new ticket after increase of twenty percent, and after six months again it is increased by ten percent. But for this base value is rupees one twenty. Initially the base value is rupees hundred. But here our base value is rupees one twenty, and on one twenty, twenty on one twenty, ten percent is increased. See here, so 
न्यू इंक्रीज इन टिकट सो न्यू इंक्रीज इन टिकट दैट विल बी इक्वल टू दैट विल बी इक्वल टू सी इयर बेस वैल्यू इज वन ट्वेंटी एंड इंक्रीज इन टेन परसेंट सो टेन अपॉन हंड्रेड इन टू दैट वन ट्वेंटी बेस वैल्यू सो इट इज दिस जीरो जीरो विल गेट कैंसल विल गेट रुपीज ट्वेल्व सो न्यू इंक्रीज रुपीज ट्वेल्व isn't it so final so final ticket after new increase so final ticket after new increase that will be equal to rupees this 120 plus that increase is 12 so that will be rupees 132 this is a final ticket after increase of 10% so what will be the net increase so net increase net increase of ticket is equal to 100 original ticket is 100 and from 100 to it is increase 120 from 120 to 132 so net increase will be rupees 32 isn't it and as original we have considered as 100 it is directly we can say it is a percentage increase of 32% which is option second option so percentage increase is rupees percentage increase is also 32 because base value is of, is also 100 so our option is 32% increase is our correct answer see the question number 48 a merchant purchases 25 dozen oranges at the rate of rupees 25 per dozen he sold all oranges at the rate of rupees 32 per dozen then how much percentage of profit did he get here here cp is given cost price is given that is equal to 25 dozen into rate is also 25 so this is the total cp isn't it because rate is 25 and number of numbers also 25 dozen so total cp is rupees 625 isn't it and selling price is also given selling price is, is also number of dozens are 25 but rate is different that is 32 isn't it so if you multiply 25 into 2 that is 50 25 into 75 plus 5 that is 80 so rupees 800 is a selling price so we can calculate net profit net profit in rupees that will be equal to rupees 800 minus rupees 800 minus rupees 625 that is equal to rupees 175 So this is in rupees, and for this base value is is CP is six twenty five, isn't it? So percentage profit. So percentage profit. Percentage profit means if CP is hundred, here we have the CP as rupees six twenty five, and we are getting the profit as one seventy five, isn't it? This is simple. CP is six twenty five. Profit is one seventy five. If CP is hundred, that is percentage. What is us? Percentage means on hundred. If CP is hundred, let profit be X. This is a simple statement. Take the cross multiplication. We will get six twenty five into X. That will equal to hundred into one seventy five. So X is equal to X equal to hundred into one seventy five divided by six twenty five. So this is a simple formula. So profit percentage profit is, is equal to hundred into one seventy five divided by six twenty five. This is how we have derived this x, isn't it? This is our assumption. Now see, see here. Sim to simplify this, we can write here one seventy five is nothing but twenty five into seven, isn't it? And six twenty five is nothing but twenty five into twenty five. See here, six twenty five is nothing but twenty five into. This twenty five and this twenty five will get cancelled. This twenty five and here we will get four. Four into seven that is twenty eight. So this will be the twenty eight percent profit. Means if CP is hundred, profit will be rupees twenty eight. That is the meaning of this twenty eight percent. Option is option three. Option three is our correct answer. See the question number forty nine. A rope of length two one six meter is cut at five places at the same distance. Then what is the length of each piece in centimeter? So this this example is very simple, but keep your presence of mind. See here, if this is the rope, 
this total row of length 216 total length is 216 what is given it is cut at five places at equal distance let it be the first cut second cut third cut fourth cut and fifth cut cuts are five total cuts are total cuts are five numbers isn't it but pieces are six one two three four five six isn't it first second third fourth fifth six though cuts are five but pieces are total pieces are six that is the main so total length is 260 so per piece length per piece length is equal to 216 divided by 6 always divided by number of pieces do not divide by number of cuts because total pieces are us each piece length is us so 216 divided by 6 that is equal to 6 is 18 6 is 36 so 36 and it is all asked in centimeter it is asked in centimeter and length is given in meter isn't it so 36 will be meter and we know 1 meter is equal to 100 centimeter so this length will be equal to 36 into 100 that is 3600 0 centimeter so our answer will be 3600 0, that is second option so the question number 50 which of the following terms should be added so that the expression 49x square plus 64y square will be a perfect square choose two correct options means two options are correct now see here this expression 49 x square plus 64 y square to make it perfect square we know the formula that a plus b bracket square that is equal to a square plus 2 a b plus b square isn't it and also a minus b bracket square there is also a square minus 2ab plus b square here first term and last term these are perfect square see here these are also perfect square this in this expression these two terms are perfect square to make this expression perfect square we must add the center sorry this is 2ab this 2ab we must add this central central term 2ab means multiplication of this a and b here in this case a is equal to first write 49 x square we can write as a 7 x bracket square plus 64 y square we can write as 8 upon y bracket square means here a is equal to 7 x and b is equal to 8 upon y to make this perfect expression to make this expression perfect square we must add 2 ab plus or minus isn't it means 2 ab this is the same terms only signs are different and from options there are two terms which are same and have the opposite sign that is the requirement 2 ab plus 2 ab and minus 2 ab means this term must be same two terms are same but only sign is different and there are two terms 112 x divided by and 112 x divided by minus so these terms must be the our options isn't it from options we also we can guess our answer now let's confirm our answer that 2 a b take the multiplication of 2 a b that 2 into a is 7 x and b is 7 x and b is 8 upon y isn't it that will be equal to 7 into 2 into 8 7 into 14 into 8 that is 112 x divided by so we got one term also similarly minus 2 ab will be the minus 112 x upon y so our answer must be first choice and the second option this is all for this video Thank you.